Welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With It. Today we are working on a 2011 F-150 with a 5.0. We have a P0304 and P0316, which is a misfire on cylinder 4 and a misfire in the first 1,000 revolutions on startup. Now, 2011-2013, uh, 5.0s apparently came with defective intake valves or soft intake valves. I mean, this one lasted to 253,000 miles, so I'm not really sure how defective that is, but they do apparently start to cause low compression and they do wear out. I'm not sure on the factors on what caused them to wear out faster or slower. Um, I don't know. This one had a busted spark plug that was really wore out the porcelain was broken on it so I don't know if that played into the factor or not but I have just now confirmed that it is the intake valve that is causing it this uh, number four right here has 125 to 128 compression while number two right here has 150 the relative compression test actually did not pick up on this when I tested it I don't know if it was because I had a compression tester and four while I did it instead of a spark plug or not but it said zero percent difference between all of them so it was missed by the relative compression test but right here I have photos from inside the cylinder I'll show you and this confirms that this is actually the issue and what is going wrong with this truck so that's the video I took so real quick wrong valves right here there is the in, one of the intake valves in number four as you can see it is clean all around the seating area the seating area is still pretty decent there sorry let me lock my focus and you can see there's no carbon buildup on it the valve is clean this is port injection so these all should be clean but the other intake valve directly next to it you can see there's the seat is still clean, so it's still hitting on the seat, but it's you can see there's some pits like right here where it is kind of corroded. And then you can see all this carbon buildup right here, and you can start to see up in the port a lot of carbon buildup right there. When you watch the video, you can see up in here there's carbon buildup here and all over that valve. But when I move over to this one, it is clean, and you can see it's clean up in here too you know, with the minor, you know, from the PCV system and all, but there's no carbon buildup around the seat here. So this show, goes to show that this valve right here is the one that is losing compression and it's leaking back up into the cylinder. And now this is something that um, it kind of acts like the Audi VWs or the other direct injection engines where they get the carbon buildup on the valves and they start having airflow issues and they only misfire at idle, but once you're going and you got a higher airspeed, it doesn't have an issue because uh, the airspeed keeps it from coming back into the intake. So this truck, you could drive it down the road. You don't, uh, once I changed the spark plug, because the spark plug was bad, but once I started driving down the road, uh, after I changed the spark plug, you didn't really notice it until you got it idle. The idle was kind of rough, and even on the power balance, it was smooth on the road or at a loaded idle, which is in gear with AC on, it was not as bad and it kind of smoothed out. So same RPM, but higher airflow. Um, again, more airflow pushing on it. And you know, that, uh, that helped out the idle. So um, at idle though, at low speed idle in park neutral, then it started to act up pretty good and you could feel it and it was rough and it was because that compression was leaking out of this valve. So that is the issue. And this is on 2011 and 2013 5.0 trucks. Ford revised it in the newer trucks and they didn't have so much of an issue. Uh, actually, they have no reported issues of the valves after 2013. There's no TSB that I could find. I did find an Engine Builders Association uh, paper on it and other people saying that the intake valves are faulty. But the, on this truck, I just confirmed it and this is what the issue is. And if you have one cylinder that doesn't seem to follow the coil or the spark plug no matter what you do it's always misfiring at idle but not when you load it or rev it up then definitely send a camera down in there and suspect that this is probably going to be your issue all right hope this helps guys like comment and subscribe have a good day